All right, all right. We're gonna try and kill two birds with one stone today. First, we're going to go over my my laptop specs because I've been asked about this over and over and over and over again, and I've mentioned it in live streams before, but I've never actually put it into a video that I can point people to so I don't have to keep answering the same question over and over again. So that's gonna be this. Also, for those of you who are wondering why DaVinci Resolve is crashing when you're trying to do certain effects, we're gonna go over the system requirements for DaVinci Resolve 16. It's gonna be a fun one. Let's take a look. If you guys came here through my Premiere Pro versus DaVinci Resolve videos, then you've probably already heard that one of the reason why I switched is because DaVinci Resolve is said to be able to run on lower end laptops, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have system requirements. Blackmagic Design does have system requirements for DaVinci Resolve. And if your computer doesn't meet those, then you're gonna have some issues. So let's run down those real quick. And I hope you appreciate this because it actually took some digging. There's no like official thing on their website that shows you the system requirements. I actually get to go digging around in the forum, which I found a link to another thread, which brought me to a link to another thread. And then there they were, there they were in a thread, all the system requirements. So this actually took some digging in order to figure it out. But here we go. If you want to run DaVinci Resolve on your computer, you need a few things. First, 64-bit operating system. So Windows 64 or something like that. You also need a modern quad-core CPU, and also you need a dedicated graphics card. Either NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel GPU will work, but you need to have at least two gigabytes of VRAM, and it needs to support Metal, OpenCL 1.2, or CUDA 10. If you're wondering why I keep looking down here, it's because I've got all the specs in front of me, because I can't memorize this stuff. I'm just... I'm, I'm no good at that. As far as RAM is concerned, they recommend 16 gigabytes. Now, in that same thread, in that same comment, actually, Blackmagic Design does state that if your computer has lower specs, you might be able to run DaVinci Resolve, but they just can't guarantee compatibility or performance or anything like that. So if you don't measure up DaVinci Resolve, there is a free version. You can still download it and try it out. If it doesn't work, you'll have to move on to something else or upgrade your computer. Now, for the longest time, I've been using... Ugh, I've been using this. This is the HP Envy X360 15-inch 2-in-1 laptop. And is this is what I used for a very, very long time. I got this thing before I even knew I wanted to start making videos for the internet. So I, this was not something that I picked out because of its wonderful specs. I picked this out because it was it was less than a thousand dollars and I could afford it and I really needed a computer that wasn't a Chromebook. So let's run down the system requirements for DaVinci Resolve again and see how this thing measures up. As far as the 64-bit operating system, yep, this thing's got Windows 64, so we're all good there. After that, it kind of goes downhill. <laughs> First of all, this has a dual-core CPU. It's a Intel Core i7-6500U. So this is dual core, not quad core, which, you know, that explained a lot. As far as GPU, we were actually okay. I mean, barely, barely okay. We had the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 930M, which had a whopping 2.05 gigabytes of VRAM. And as far as memory is concerned, we were, uh, we had 50% of what they recommend. We only had eight gigabytes of RAM in this computer. So this caused a lot of problems. I could run DaVinci on this and I did for a while. Slide this thing down here. But we ran into a lot of issues. I had to create optimized media for basically every project. If I put too many nodes in the color grade, then we we ran into issues. I would get the GPU memory full thing a lot, especially if I tried to add some fusion effects on top of that. We just, we ran into a lot of issues. And if you wanted to do something like upscale your footage, forget about it. It wasn't gonna happen. There was just so much that you couldn't do, but I could put together a video. I could do a basic color grade. And when I started using plugins like Film Convert, where I only really needed one or two or maybe three nodes, then we were good to go there. But uh, for the most part, I mean, I could run DaVinci Resolve, but it was super slow. It was choppy. I had to 
like I said, optimize media on basically every project. I had to bring down the playback resolution to like a quarter resolution, which is just, it just looks like I'm trying to watch a video on a potato. And the problems got even worse when I got this desk and I got this monitor because I couldn't really run dual monitors off of the laptop. So for a little bit, actually, after I got this monitor, I turned the monitor off on the laptop and I was just using the big monitor because I like the bigger screen, but I couldn't run two monitors at once, which sucks because dual monitor in DaVinci Resolve is actually pretty sweet. So we looked into a bunch of things like eGPUs, which I couldn't get because they all run on Thunderbolt 3 and the HP Envy doesn't have a Thunderbolt 3. And then we started looking at the possibility of getting a new computer, which I knew I couldn't afford, but I was thinking maybe I could strike a brand deal, get a computer. We were waiting on some contacts and then Super Bowl Sunday, I show up to Tech Examine's house, Michael Panetta, my very good friend. You've seen him on the channel before and we're hanging out and then all of a sudden this thing shows up in my lap and this, this, let me close it here. Oh, this is the Acer Predator 15. This thing, this thing's a beast. I mean, this is like an eight pound laptop, so it's not a travel laptop, but this solved basically all of my problems. So same as before, let's run down those system specs and see how this thing measures up. As far as the quad core CPU goes, this has an Intel Core i7 7700HQ, which is a quad core. So we're good to go there. As far as GPU, we've got an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 with six gigabytes of VRAM. So that's three times the recommended amount. So I think we're pretty good there. And then also we've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. And we actually, if we take this panel off here, I can actually expand that RAM. So I can get up, I think to 64 gigabytes of RAM in here if I really need it. Also, one of these sides here, I can't remember which one. Here we go, look at that. We got Thunderbolt 3. So if I do need more, I can actually add an eGPU onto here. We also have a SATA port so I could do another hard drive if I want. So we're, this thing is, this thing is absolutely amazing and I've been using it for the last, I don't know, when was the Super Bowl? Beginning of February. So I've been using it for the last month. I've edited a couple projects on it in DaVinci Resolve Studio. So I've gotten to use Super Scale on this thing, some of the GPU accelerated effects. I've gotten to really put this thing through its paces and I haven't had any issues yet. I mean, I've even edited 4K footage on this thing, which I could never, ever really ever do on the HP Envy, which was, you know, that that's kind of a hindrance. Like if you're going to be doing this professionally, you should probably have the ability to at least edit 4K footage. Now, this is not a laptop that I picked out. It's not one that I purchased. This was literally dropped into my lap on Super Bowl Sunday. This is a gift from Jonathan Morrison, TLD today. Some of you guys might know him. He's a fairly big tech YouTuber, so huge, Huge shout out to Jonathan Morrison. Thank you so much. So yeah, problem solved, new computer. I can run the dual monitor, it, this thing's great. I can even build it out a little bit more if I need a little bit more power. So that's super awesome. So if you're having trouble with DaVinci Resolve, if it's crashing or if it's just not running right, then you might need to upgrade to something like the Acer Predator 15. I highly recommend this computer. It's great. I have had zero issues with it, but if your only issue is maybe slow playback, if it's skipping frames, dropping frames, stuff like that, there are a few things that you can do in DaVinci Resolve in order to get smoother playback. If you want to learn more about that, make sure you check out this video right here. And for more videos on how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, do all the things so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.